Hi, I'm Bob Falzerano with a special edition of Local Notes. Tonight, we're about to pay tribute to Mr. Gil Barricat, who after 27 years in the Carver school system is retiring. He's our elementary school music teacher, and what you're about to see is a genuine outpouring of love and affection and talent from the kids and families of the town of Carver. Mr. Barricat, God bless you and thank you for everything. Good luck in all your future endeavors. Thanks. How you doing? I'm Bob Falzerano with a special edition of Local Note, talking to Jeremy Tunis, the music teacher here at Carver Middle High School. How you doing tonight? Pretty good. It's a very special night for Gil. And thanks for coming in today. Yeah. Appreciate it. And um, what's your favorite memory of Gil? My favorite memory of Gil, you would think it would be something on the band stage, but actually one time I went down and I saw him working with a kindergarten class doing a sing-along. And that's when I realized what an art form it is to work with young learners. The way he made that classroom come to life, the way he animated himself and made himself sort of endeared to every single kid in the room left me with a valuable impression of Gil that he's just an amazing teacher. Could it be that he looks a little bit like a cartoon character also that helps? 
He looks somewhere between, uh, what, what is it? Is it Crosby or Stills? I can never remember. Crosby and Captain Kangaroo. He's right there in the middle between the two. I always think of the eagle on the Muppet Show for whatever reason. <laughs> I don't, but, but Gil should have been on the Muppets. If there was ever somebody who should have been on the Muppets, it's Gil Barrett. God bless you, Mr. Gil. Thank you so much, man. Thanks, Thanks Jeremy. Thanks for the time. Hi, we're back, and I'm um, talking with Nicole Sholin, the um, high school and middle school um, chorus teacher, and I'd just like to ask, say, say hi, Miss Sholin, how are you? I'm doing fine, how yeah, are you? I'm very good. We're here at Mr. Barrett's retirement party. What's been your favorite part of being associated with Gil? Well, you can just tell from the kids that you have had Gil. What he's amazing at is just making the kids love the music and it, he finds that spark and he lights it in the kids and then they come up to the middle and high school and you can see that music is in their soul and they're so excited about learning and makes my job very easy. <laughs> I am absolutely blown away by so small of a town having such a base of talent and having it brought out at such an early age, you know, these kids are so passionate about it. And, Absolutely. you know, you help an awfully long. Thank, Thanks. You. Thank you. <laughs> you know, what would you like to say to Mr. Barrett? I'd just love to say, Gil, you've been a wonder in this town. I haven't been here really long, but I can see everything that's been set in place. And then just the stories that the kids have told about you over the years. You've made an impact in a bunch of people's lives, and I hope you the best because good people deserve good things. Thank you so much, Michelle. Thank it's you. been great. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll be right back. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey guys, Bob Falzerano back again. I'm talking with James Stone. He's another one of Mr. Barakat's protégés. You started in fourth grade with Mr. Barakat? Yeah, that's right, about 10, 11 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like long, but it's not, is it? Oh no, the time's, yeah. time's flat, flown by. So going up in order, I've know I've my sons have played with you in the past in Tuesday Night Jazz Band. That yep. was just the tip of the iceberg for you. Yep. Give me some some flavor of where Mr. Barakat's tutelage and and experience with him brought you. Well, uh, first for high school, I uh, I ended up going attending the Walnut Hill School for the Arts in Natick, Mass, which is like one of the top arts high schools in the country. And um, from there, I I, I went to uh, New England Conservatory Prep. I and mean, I played in a bunch of different orchestras there. Um, toured all over the world with them. We went to Vienna, we went to uh, England, um, and then I, I, I decided to go to Rhode Island College and study with Joe Foley, who's one of the, like, one of the best trumpet teachers in uh, all of all the area, one of the top Boston players. And um, so now I'm, I'm just studying, studying music there. And I, I, I heard Brown University was in there somewhere. Yes, I had, a, I had a friend from high school who goes to Brown. He plays trumpet. And uh, he sent me an email one day asking if I wanted to come play with, with their orchestra and tour Ireland with them. What was your answer? Of course. I said, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> right away. I'm really glad you came back for this, James. Thank you so much. It was, it's really a pleasure to see you. And I know the Tuesday night jazz band with both of my sons play with was poorer after you left. And like that, Sing 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 was never quite the same. So thanks again, man. Oh, thanks for having me. I had a great time. Thanks. How you doing, guys? I'm with Scott Neef right now. We're at the um, send-off party for Mr. Gil Barrick at his retirement. How you doing, Scott? Very good. How you doing? Thanks for coming good in today. Right All right. And uh, Scott's a principal here at Carver High. And um, I'd just like to know, um, what do you have anything you'd like to say to Mr. Barrick at? I'd just like to thank him for his years of service to the Carver School District. What a great job he's done. Just looking at it tonight, all the people here, uh, the number of students, the number of lives he's affected. You know, he's really changed the course of many of these kids' lives because he introduced them to music. And we have an outstanding music program here that starts with him. So I just want to thank him for all his years of service and say, wish him best of luck as he goes off to North Carolina. Thank you so much. That's absolutely the best way to put it. He has changed your lives. The, the amount of children, the kids that still play into their college years is amazing to me. It's astounding. And again, thank you, Mr. Gill. Thank you, Scott. All right, thank you. Have a good night.
How you doing? This is Local Notes. I'm come to say hi to Mr. Austin Glass. You, you had also taught at Carver High for a while, hadn't you, music? I did, uh, 2003 to 2005. I uh, taught here at the high school. And, and who do uh, we have here? Great. This is Lila, can you say hi? Hi, Lila, you ought to try to cheer up. You're just a happy little thing, aren't you? Yeah. How are you doing? Did you have fun tonight? Yeah. You're a pretty soft voice, can you say yes? Yes. All right. Do you have anything you'd like to say to Mr. Barricat? Oh, man. Mr. Barricat. Nice he is, thing. He is the best. We uh, we gigged out for a year or two just playing guitar and singing at fine dining establishments, and uh, there's nobody more passionate and loving of music than, uh, than Gil. He's just, you're always smiling around him, and you're always having an amazing musical experience. Thank you so much, yeah. Mr. Glass. Thanks for coming tonight. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks. We'll be back. Thanks. Hi, we're back again. We're talking with Catherine Hildebrandt. She's one of our all-state vocalists this year. Do now, do they? Do you start singing in fourth grade? How did you become involved with music? Um, well, definitely through Mr. Barricat. He was kind of the one who laid the foundation for all of us who moved on to do things like festivals and stuff in high school. And it was it was definitely him. What was your favorite thing about fourth grade band or fourth grade chorus? Well, with Mr. Barricat, I remember um, I had him for, for like general music class all the way back in kindergarten. I think is when it started. <laughs> so um, I just I just always remember being in his class and dancing and singing and having so much fun. Is there anything you'd like to say to him right now? Thanks for everything. None of us would be where we are right now without him. <laughs> it's true. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Catherine. Have a good night. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.
Hey, how you doing, guys? We're back. I want to talk to Paul Butts. He's um, actually one of my favorite kids to watch. I love watching you play with no music, Paul, man. That is inspiring. Thank you for that. I know that, um, is that Mrs. Tunis, is, is, she, is she your piano teacher? Yes, she is. Yeah. And again, you guys started in fourth grade with Mr. Barricad, is that right? Yes. Yeah. I, I love how he's, without him giving you that love of music, I don't think any of these kids, would, any of you guys would have, you know, the level just keep going up and up and up. I, I love watching you step up. What's your favorite, what was your favorite thing in fourth grade band? Just, um, just to see all the kids learning, sitting around in a semicircle, waiting for Mr. Bearcat to teach them how to play the new song we were learning. It was inspiring, because he would sit down with us and he would play with us. Yep. So, so whatever we were playing, he would do with us too. And if we did anything wrong, he'd tell us and we'd fix it. And it was just fun. What instrument did you start playing? I started with the trumpet. Actually, I started playing trumpet and piano on the same exact day. That's awesome, man. Again, I've, I've mentioned this before I've, in this exact show. When my kids did it, they started with two instruments, too. We thought it would help them, you know, learn to read the music better. And um, clearly, it didn't. It wasn't so bad for you. Yeah. Would you like to have anything to say to Mr. Barricat? Well, I'd like to thank him for everything that he's done for everybody. For people who are here now, who have been here before, and you've definitely changed people. He, it, it's not like anybody's going to forget Mr. Barricat, and I want to thank him for that. That was very well put, Paul. Thank you so much. And it, for me, I've, I was asked by uh, one of the uh, the owner of WATD to do a to do a um, interview with people. What what music means to you? And nine out of ten people said music feeds the soul, and that absolutely is what it does. Thank you, Paul, for for sharing with us today. Thank you. Thanks, guys. We'll be back. Hi, Bob Falzerano back again with Local Notes. We're at the Carver High School Cafeteria where Mr. Gil Barricat's retirement party is in full swing. And I'm talking with uh, Julie Hildebrandt, the president of the Carver Music Boosters. Thank you so much for all you guys do. First of all, you guys are great. And well, look who um, we get to work with. <laughs> again, she, she, you're absolutely right. I just the pool of talent in this school is, is incredible. It is extraordinary, it really is. We've got it is, I it. have a lot of people from other towns who know these guys who say the same thing. For such a small town, where does it come from? The, the teachers, the teachers bring it out. I really think they do. Absolutely. I really think they do. Where would it, where would your boys be without Mr. Barricat, well, Mr. They Tunis, would you know? Be flunking <laughs> every class instead of just <laughs> they wouldn't be getting A in music. <laughs> You'd be picking them up off the streets, when you? <laughs> That's possible. <laughs> then again, thank you so much. What Aww. would you like to say to Mr. Barricat? Oh, we love him so much, and and I don't know what we're going to do without him. But um, this is this is the very least we can do, and and he's just he's a he's a legend. He's a living legend in Carver. That's absolutely well put. I, again, we uh, for to a to a, a man or woman, each person said the same thing. The love that he gives you the, for the music. The, the kids don't quit, they stick with it. It's record numbers of kids that come through, still play, and you know, even the kids that go off to college can continue to play. And I think he estimated, he's, he's taught about 4,000 kids up to this point, so if you can imagine. No, I'm, I'm having, I'm have, that, I've got two, I'm good. <laughs> he was saying they find them all over the country. He was hiking in the mountains in New Hampshire, up on the top of a mountain somewhere, and he hears, Hey, Mr. Bearcat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's easily recognizable, not to be con you know, confused They'll with the old man North in the Carolina mountain. Too. Right. They'll find him in North Carolina. Yep, they absolutely will. Thank you, Julie. Thanks, Thanks Bob. So okay, be okay. Right. Thanks, guys. We'll be back. Thanks.
How you doing, guys? I'm talking to Andrew Luzon. Hi, Andrew. Hello, how are you? How are you doing tonight? I'm doing well, how are you? All right. Heard you spent some time on the beach in the last couple days? I did, except right. for it was really rainy. Cool. It was not rainy. Not fun. Not fun? Well, I mean, it was fun, but at the beach I didn't get to enjoy. Rats. So how's school going? It's going well. It's doing well. Um, I'm in the marching band and a couple other music programs that I don't have to audition for, so... Awesome. So you play a, mu you play a musical instrument? Yes, uh, saxophone, and I started out on clarinet taught by Mr. Bearcat. How did you get started playing the clarinet? With Mr. Bearcat. Really? What grade would that be? Fourth grade. Wow. And amazing, he would have students with the attention span to learn the clarinet. It took some time, a lot of time. I will give him that. Who would have thunk it? What do you, and again, what's your favorite memory of fourth grade band with Mr. B? Ah, uh, that's a tough one. Um, mostly because I don't remember a lot of the fourth grade, but um, I'd have to go with the, uh, the time, the, when he explained to me the necessity of practicing using this really obscure metaphor and I, it convinced me to practice for about two weeks. Wow, there wasn't any be, you know, holding a loaded gun to your head or anything like that involved? No, 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 it was PG. Oh, awesome. And again, do you have anything you'd like to say to Mr. Gill? Uh, happy retirement and thank you for all that you've done for me and the influence you had on my life because it certainly shaped it. I'm, I'm just blown away by the amount of kids who still stay with it. Band instruments litter almost every hallway closet in America, and in Carver, they're still being used again and again. This is amazing. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. Have a good night, guys. I'll be right back. Okay. How you doing, guys? We're talking to Justin Cheeseman. How you doing, Justin? I'm pretty good. How you doing? I'm glad you came here tonight. I know you are. This is uh, quite, a, quite a turnout. We're at the um, Mr. Barricat's retirement party. This is a, a special sort of a commando version of local notes we're doing tonight. Justin, what's your first remembrance of Mr. Barricat? I remember when I first moved to Carver in second grade. Uh, my third day at school, I had music with Mr. Barricat, and it was the most fun I think I've ever had during my entire elementary and primary school experiences was the first day of music. That is an enormously vivid recollection. <laughs> Great, and um, I, I think everybody has uh, s some positive, you know, Mr. Barricat experience. Definitely. But uh, did you play an instrument I or in school? Yeah, I played drums for Mr. Barricat for two years, yeah. uh, fourth and fifth grade. So, was did you quit or did your parents make you quit? Uh, I moved from drums to the bass guitar because I found a uh, better interest in that. Outstanding, yeah. Actually, um, I know you know Giuseppe. Yep. Uh, he's played bass for quite a while too, and um, yeah, that's that's outstanding. Yeah. Uh, do you have anything you'd like to say to Mr. Barricat? I do. I just want to say thank you, Mr. Barricat, for being one of the biggest inspirations in my life, because I want to be a music teacher and do the things you did, and hopefully I can bring joy to as many people as you did. Thank you. Wow. It, my understanding is we're at 4,000 and counting of joy students that Mr. Barricat has inspired and there's stories like this all over man. Justin, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks guys. We'll be back. Thanks.
Hey guys, we're here at Gil Barracat's Retirement Bash at Carver High School Cafeteria, and I'm talking to Evan Hermano and Ben Bonifant. They've been members of the high school band for the last few years. Also, the Tuesday Night Jazz Band, you guys have been playing there forever. That's a band out of Middleborough that's run by a guy named Marty Hartford, who is a retired high school music teacher from Middleborough. And uh, I'd like to talk about a little bit about Mr. Barricat and what it's meant to you and how far you've come since you met him. Everybody starts in fourth grade. Um, obviously, he gives these kids, you guys, so much love for music. Nobody quits. I mean, it's just an amazing program. What's your first recollection of Mr. Barricat? Oh, my first recollection of Mr. Barricat was, de was definitely um, one day he actually had to kick someone out of the band. Yeah. <laughs> But it wasn't his. <laughs> I know it wasn't his fault. <laughs> yeah. But uh, actually, what I remember about Mr. Barrack is how much he inspired me to play music, and really how much he, like his love for music, and how, how much he loved the kids, and all the effort he put into it, and how much he's really gonna miss it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, when I think both of my kids did the same thing. When Giuseppe started, he was playing trumpet and flute so we could get him in twice a week so we could learn the music faster. Nicholas did um, trump, uh, trombone and, um, and cornet, of all things. Did I say trumpet and flute for Giuseppe? I meant trombone and flute. Sorry, Giuseppe. <laughs> but, hey, Ben, how are you doing, man? Uh, go ahead and give me, um, you know, what was your favorite part of band in fourth grade? My favorite part of band? Um, well, actually, when I was starting saxophone, I couldn't come back to school because there was an hour between when school ended and when the saxophone lesson started. So he actually allowed me to play with the clarinets and he let me stay and play and learn with the clarinets and then learn with the saxophones. And I, I was really honored because it made him so happy for me to just be there. Even though he was the one, I was the one that was really enjoying it, he, he loved it so much. And it's amazing to be now immersed in music in yeah. fourth grade. It's, yeah, that's a great feeling. This guy gives Again, the look on their the look on their faces is exactly right. The love that he gives he gave them. Thank you, Mr. Gale. You're you're great. Thanks a lot, man. I um remember my wife was a band mom, so she would come and sit with the kids until it was time for him to, to do their lesson. So anyway, that was, thanks guys. Yeah, no thanks. All right. Thanks. We'll be back. Did you just feel the moonshine? Did you just like a
How you doing, guys? I'm Bob Falzerano here with Local Notes again, and we're talking to Aiden McGrath, currently a junior at Carver High School. Yes. And how are you doing, Aiden? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm glad you came tonight. I'm doing very well, and um, you guys sounded good up there, and um, you're very welcome. Um, you, what did you start playing? Did you start playing in fourth grade like the rest of these guys? Um, well, I played a lot of different instruments. I started mainly with like playing around with the keyboard and then I went to bass, uh, ukulele, and then I just like, I got the motivation to pick up the guitar one day and I just couldn't put it down, you know? Like you find that instrument you can't put down, you know it's the one. So that's, that's how I got into it. I, I started myself when I was 13. Yeah. I found one in the attic. And had it fixed. There you go. So yeah. it's been it has been in love in love ever since. Yeah. So did you have Mr. Barricad as a young? Um... Yeah, I did actually. Um, he was like he was probably my favorite teacher of those days. Like when I was when I was a young kid, I remember doing the turkey trot every day, rehearsing it and rehearsing it, and then we'd go into the gym and perform it for all the parents. It was a blast. He was a great teacher. I, plain and simple. Yep. Outstanding. Yeah. And uh, do you have anything you'd like to say to Mr. Barricad? Uh, well, I'll miss you. You started us all off. You started with my brother and sister and me and band, and we'll miss him. We'll miss him. Everybody will miss him. I'll miss him. Nice. Great teacher. He is an absolutely great teacher. Everyone had the exact same thing to say. I can't. The kids who haven't quit playing yeah. or moved on to other have gotten so much better. So much better. It's like it's incredible how much like you you look back in time and see how like everybody started and then how much better everybody's gotten since since now it's, it's incredible incredible yeah incredible base of talent for yeah. such a small town yeah exactly you know and um Seriously. thank you aiden no problem right. we'll be right back thanks So much. We're talking. We're talking with Ali Gramaris. We're at Mr. Barrett's retirement bash here at Carver um, Cafeteria, Carver High School Cafeteria. Ali, how you doing, kiddo? I'm doing pretty good. You I know. love watching you play. Oh, I it's thank a, you. You, it seems to be your thing. I know you're. You're yeah, also no, trumpet, whatever I can get a, my hands on. 
with me and of course Mr. Barakat got you started too. Yeah, on the trumpet he did. Yeah, and then he was always encouraging me with the piano and then both of them and um, yeah. What was your favorite part of fourth grade band? Ooh, oh my gosh. I just remember when Mr. Barakat used to play guitar with us. I remember thinking that was so cool because I'd never done like a duet before and it was like the mixture of like the band, the guitar, it was just, it was something, just nothing that you really get nowadays. But Outstanding. I, I love watching you guys play and all of you. I know the attrition rate is, is amazing at fourth, fifth grade level and to have so many talented people just stay with it. Yeah. You know, is, is there anything you'd like to say to Mr. Bar Mr. B, Mr. Mr. Gill? Well, Mr. Barakat, thank you so much. You put the passion and heart in my trumpet playing, and I don't know what I'd do without it, so thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Allie. Be great. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll be back.
How you doing, guys? We're here with Al McMahon, and Al is a past graduate of Carver High School and one of uh, Mr. Barakat's uh, alumni. Tell me, what did you play an instrument in high school? I did. I actually played the clarinet for most of high school. Oh, I remember that. And you started in fourth grade with Mr. Barakat, oddly enough. That I did. Yeah. And what was your what was your favorite memory of Mr. B? My favorite memory of Mr. Barakat was the fact that he was so easy to work with as far as learning the instrument, especially when we were all younger kids. He managed to make it fun, but still managed to make it something that you could actually get, you know, a value out of it by playing an instrument and learning how to play. Right. I remember, um, and it, I think you actually moved from from music to chorus to doing drama, which amazing range there. What do you do? You go to school now? I do actually. I go to Berkeley College of Music. I'm currently going into my junior year and I'm actually going to be studying music education and I'm also going to be working with musical theater. Outstanding, Al. How, what's, what's your favorite part of uh, Berkeley? My favorite part of Berkeley is just the city atmosphere. I've never really been into the city that much, so it's a bit of a change for me. I'm usually a small town guy. I like staying around Carver and staying around Pullman where I'm used to. But going in the city just about every day, traveling up there, going to class, soaking in the sights, sounds, atmosphere, it's really a whole new experience. You're a small town guy, Al, but don't go changing, okay? Do you have anything you'd like to say to Mr. B? Just like to say on behalf of myself and my family, congratulations, Mr. Barakat, and thank you so much for all the contributions you've had to the community so far. And I wish you and your family a happy retirement. Thanks a lot, Al. Be great. Thanks, guys. We'll be right back. Hey guys, we're here with Nathaniel Singer, another one of Ms. Schoenland's uh, All-State uh, Songbirds for 2013. And again, thanks for coming in tonight. Well, thank you for inviting me, or ha thank you for having all this. It's actually, this is a music booster thing. I have nothing to do with it. I did bring a few um, alumni back to, to play, but this is just so much uh, Julie and um, Linda have put together and other people, I don't know their names. Thank you guys so much. Nathaniel, what was your first recollection of Mr. Barakat? Oh, probably first grade. You know, he's the one that got me started in music. And just to see everyone that he was their teacher grow from experience of his and just outside of his, it's just awesome just to see everyone grow, especially Mr. Barakat himself. Yeah, that is true. Um, when we started this, I mean, I, my, my son is a, a, a sophomore in college next year. He started in fourth grade. Everybody's grown, including the town. It's just been an amazing transformation. Do you have anything you'd like to say to Mr. Barricad? Oh yeah, we all, not just me, but everyone that's had him love, loves him to death. Like he's just, I remember his classes, the little fun little computer games that he used to have and just everything that he taught us, we just, Keep, we keep to ourselves and we really expand from that. And it's a great experience that he gave everyone and great pointers. Thank you, Nathaniel. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks. All right. Thanks. We love you, Mr. Gill. Thanks a million. We'll talk to you soon.
How you doing, guys? We're here at Mr. Get Barricat's retirement party at Carver High School Cafeteria, and we have four-fifths of the trombone quintet, and um, that was actually a, quite a re um, rendition of when I'm 64, thank you guys, hilarious. I know Mr. Barricat enjoyed it. I he was watching the whole time. Can you give me a give me a remembrance of Mr. Barricat from fourth grade? And then pass the microphone on down. A remembrance. Um, shoot. <laughs> I don't know. It's just I just when I think about it, I just realize how important it was. What he did, how it just when I was. I don't even know why I decided to choose to play an instrument, but I realized it's just because he made it seem so much fun and just like it was like the coolest thing to do. And that is just such a powerful thing he was able to do. So not a specific remembrance, but that was my general remembrance. Well, uh, my remembrance of Mr. Barricat was when in fourth grade I had to choose between the trumpet and the trombone and Mr. Barricat kind of made uh, me a choice for that. So I ch went with the um, trombone just because it had a slide and it made a really cool noise. Uh, my biggest memory of Mr. Barricat is when originally I tried to play the flute and I couldn't play a single note. So after four or five weeks of this, Mr. Barricat says, hold on Josh, I think I have the instrument for you. He comes out with a trombone and says, here, if you can play this, you can have it for free. And so that's how I started playing my instrument. <laughs> when I started playing, I, I started on trombone and my dad also had a flute that he bought from a yard sale. And I played both and he gave me lessons on both of them. And Mr. Barricat actually plays all of the instruments like very well. So he's like if you took a private teacher and stretched him out among six or seven different instruments and still managed to be good at all of them. And that's a really awesome thing to be able to do. Thank you guys, that was fun to watch. And um, without Mr. Barricat actually giving them the love of the music, they, they would, these instruments would have been in the closet years ago. And I, I like the trombone stories, especially, that's how we get more trombone players, just, just give trombones away, apparently. But um, thank you guys, tonight was fun, and um, God bless, thanks a lot. Mr. Barricat, again, we love you. And again, music feeds the soul. Be great. I know we'll be talking to more people. Thank you so much. Do you guys got anything you'd like to say to Mr. Barricat? You are the best, and we have all of this you, and everything that Carver has music-wise, we have you to thank for it. It wouldn't exist without you. Thank you so much. Well, he was the best teacher in fourth grade, and he made me have a really good choice of what I wanted to play, and have a happy retirement. We're going to miss you here at Carver, Mr. Barricat, and we all hope you have a great time in Carolina. Um, I, have, I, I have to say thanks, and you made it really fun. I'm glad that I enjoyed it enough to stick with it, and I hope that whoever they get to replace you can do the same thing. Thanks, guys. That was fun. Appreciate it. We'll be right back. I'm going to just have to keep myself from kissing this guy. Thank you so much, Mr. Barricat. This has been a fun night. I know I've been looking forward to it for a long time. And um, you got anything you'd like to say to your grateful fans and your oh, audience? I just never expected this. It's so good to see all these people and all my old students and they're performing. Listen to them. They're singing right now. I mean, it's great. The old, uh, the parents, the old students. I mean, some kids I haven't seen in 26 years. They're here. They're here. Bye. Thank you. And so, yeah, it's it's just uh, awesome. And the cakes the, with my picture on it. I mean, how do you get a cake with a picture on it? And that picture on the wall and the guitars and the people. It's just amazing. It's amazing. I'll never forget this. I'll never forget this. Back at you, pal. You're, you're in, you are in a lot of these people's DNA. The, the music that you've created, the music that you've sent forth the performance people that are just still playing since fourth grade is, in, is incredible to me. I got two of them, you know what I mean? Yeah. They didn't put their instruments down and they thank you, I think, almost every day. Yeah, thank you. 
Thank you. It's been a pleasure. I mean, there's a lot of love here. And so with that, coupled with the talents, I mean, Carver has very talented students, very talented. And they just need to be, you know, ignited. And once they're ignited, then, then they take off. And I mean, look at them now, listen to them now. Some of this jazz stuff that I was hearing before, that's, that's incredible. That's tricky stuff. Yeah. And these kids are playing it. You're a pretty darn good Never igniter, man. That. You absolutely are. I know, absolutely, uh, we're, you're going to leave quite a hole in this town. And I, I loved having you around. And we love abusing you. Thank you hopefully so much. The next guy will, uh, hopefully the next guy will carry on and, uh, and grow into it. And it'll be, a diff it'll be a little different, but hey, it'll probably be just as good. We've had this same conversation watching the kids grow, watching you grow with it. It's been a while, man. You know, yeah. you, you know, you do anything for 27 years, you're getting better. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah, it's my family. God bless you, it's man. It's my family. Be Thank great, you. no matter what you do, be great. Thank okay. you. And you too, be well. I Stay well, you and your kids. Thanks, pal. Thanks. Be great. Thank you. Thanks. Bye, everybody. Love you guys. Bye. Thanks, guys. This is Local Notes on Bob Falls, Toronto. Mr. Barricat, thanks a million again. You're very welcome. Again. God bless. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. I, 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 uh, this has never happened to me before. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, but I, I, do, I do want to recognize a couple of people. And that is, um, first, first and foremost, my wife, Barbara. <laughs> for, being, for being true to yourself, All, always true to your beliefs and yourself. So. And then we have uh, the rest of my family who have seen me highs and lows and come and go. And we have... We have uh, 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 Barbara's sisters. Uh, we have, is Denise here? Denise? Hi, Denise. And, uh, and Kathy and her husband Larry. And Barbara's mom, my mother in law. Audrey, where are you, Audrey? Is she around somewhere? Oh, right there. <laughs> and then all the teachers that came and all the, the wonderful staff that we have here just it's been a pleasure who, who are oh oh my daughter Teresa <laughs> Teresa my baby and her husband Nathan Nate and Nathan's parents, Louise and Lino. Take away, take away. Yeah, so anyway, the, uh, I don't know if Mrs. Sorrell is still here, but uh, I just wanted to thank her. She's just, uh, has been steadfast trying to get uh, the school to be better uh, all the time. So, uh, cooties to her. And, um, and uh, who else? Let's see, the students. All you students who have played tonight. Thank you so much. <laughs> How did you get so good? Great teacher. Great teacher. Teach me a couple of things. And Miss Sean, Miss Sean is here. Yeah, high school course. <laughs> Mr. Skinner taking all the pictures over there. And the music boosters. Oh, oh, how can I? Oh. Yeah. I mean, some of these pictures I haven't seen in ages. I can't believe. How did you get those pictures? <laughs> uh, that's incredible. And the thing on the wall? How, how, did that, how do you put something like that together? And the cakes. So Mrs. Hildebrand, Mrs. Philip, 
Mrs. Armanetti, Mrs. Armanetti's, uh, Mrs. Armanetti's banana bread. Uh, the best, I'm telling you. Lots of TLC in those banana breads. Uh, Mrs. Harju, um, um, who, who am I forgetting? Uh, Mrs. Uh, Gomez. Um, did I say Mrs. Hildebrand? Oh, I can't see over there. Bon yeah. Bonnie Phillip, yeah, Mrs. Phillip. And who? Mrs. Bottomore, Mrs. Butts, Mrs. Uh, the, Mrs. Everybody. <laughs> So anyway, you guys waiting for me now? Yeah. Song. Okay. Well, this this thing, next song is a uh, is a John Mayer song called "Heart of Life." Um, it's just it has some words in it that I really felt, and I like the the guitar part. <laughs> so here it is: mistakes or no, who cares? Yeah, you guys are gonna miss me, huh? What a whack. 
Marco Cicci. Testing, 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 testing. Good? Good? This next song is called A Life is Beautiful by Keb Mo. Keb Mo. K E B Keb Mo. M O. Keb Mo. Check him out. It's pretty, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty neat. Anyway, here it goes. Justin Caradonna. Yeah. 
Eric I had probably 17 years ago. Um, Justin I had probably seven years ago. And back there, is Mark back here? Where's Mark? Did Mark leave? Mark was my first year here. Yeah, Mark Eamon. Anyway, he was here. So I'd like to just finish. This is kind of like it for me. Uh, get too old and fall apart. <laughs> Um, I'm going to finish with Blackbird by the Beatles. Blackbird sitting in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. All your life, you were only waiting. For this moment to arrive A blackbird sitting in the dead of night Take these sunken eyes and learn to see All your life You were only waiting for this moment to arrive Austin Glass. Austin is sitting right here with this little young little girl here. Mr. Glass, I don't know if anybody remembers Mr. Glass. Mr. Glass was a music teacher here. Awesome music teacher. We all loved him. And then he moved on, so on to other things. And we all do, you know. So he goes. But uh, thanks for coming, Austin. My pleasure. Yeah. I, I don't know what, what you have planned, so but I'm I'm moving out. So I know I know I should have learned another twenty songs, right? Hi guys, how you doing? We're here with the founder of our feast tonight. Linda Armanetti. Hi, Linda. Hi. 
We're on. This is local notes. I don't know if is you've this ever seen. Is this going to be on TV? No. Of course I don't not. Like being on camera. Oh, no one does. They. Thank you so much for putting this together. I know it that no effort. good deed ever goes unpunished. So say. it's, you know, I know it was stressful and like that. And thank you so much. An um, awfully lot went into this. And yes. it, this, Linda is the president of our local music booster. No, no, no. I'm uh, just the secretary. Oh, you're, I'm so sorry. I'm Julie so, oh, Julie Hildebrand? I'm, I'm sorry. And I'm just a local idiot. So it, it really doesn't. Effort. Thank you to all the fellow boosters. Thanks again, guys. Thank you, Mr. Barricade. What would you like to say to Mr. Barricade? That you are irreplaceable, one in a million, and uh, good luck in North Carolina. Might come down and visit you sometime. Bring a banana. Sounds like a plan. We got a extra big suitcase, and I'll come with. All right. Okay, thanks. I'm bringing a 12 Signing pack. Off. See you, man. We'll be back. <laughs> have it. Thanks everyone for coming by tonight. That was an amazing show. And again, Mr. Barricat, we love you and thank you so much. On a personal note, I'd like to thank you for the live music that's in my house every single day. Somebody's playing something, the trombone, the guitar, singing. It happens every day. It happens in a lot of homes throughout town. Mr. Barricat, thank you so much. 
And thank you to CCAT, Rich Goumart, and the entire production crew. And if any, any bands want to come on Local Notes, please call Rich at 508-866-1019. That's 508-866-1019. Just ask to be on Local Notes, and we'd be proud to put you on. Thank you, and be great. Thank you.